Hi everyone, my name is JC of The Mindful Awakening and welcome to another episode of Mindful Mondays. Here we'll be taking a look at the general collective energy for the week of February 14th to the 20th. Happy Valentine's Day to everybody who wants to celebrate. Um, also please keep in mind that not all messages will resonate with you right away, so please make sure that you also rewatch this reading towards the end of the week because Time and energy is fluid and it might... Hi everyone, my name is JC of The Mindful Awakening and welcome to another episode of Mindful Mondays. Here we'll be taking a look at the general collective energy for the week of February the 14th to the 20th. Please keep in mind that not all messages may resonate right away, so feel free to take a look at this reading again towards the end of the week. But if they do resonate with you, I would really appreciate it if you liked this video, subscribe to my channel, and you hit that notification bell so you'll be told when I drop a new video. Now I do want to address the fact that the February monthly readings have not been uploaded yet. Um, I've just been very busy with a lot of behind the scenes things happening. Um, I am planning to open up an online store. I'm going to save those details for another video but I've just been very busy behind the scenes dealing with a lot of that logistical business stuff in the background. Um, those monthly videos for every single zodiac sign though are going to be up, up, uploaded shortly so please make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss out all right let's see what is in store for our general collective for this week we do have a full moon in leo in our fifth house of romance and self-expression that is on wednesday the 16th so expect our communication to be more empowered, a little bit more optimistic, and very confident leading up to Wednesday. All right, I just need one more card. Show us one more card, please. Hmm. We are getting down to business. All right, so the beginning of the week, we are starting off with death and rebirth in reverse. A cycle has not completely transformed just yet. Now, even though the cycle may have come to an end, whatever you happen to be dealing with, it'll be different for everyone. Um, that transformation hasn't happened for you on like an internal level yet. Maybe you feel like there's still some things that need to be worked on, um, more closure, conversations that need to be had. Um, I'm really getting that you're not completely ready to walk away from something just yet. We do have the 10 of wands in reverse here paired up with this card. So I'm really getting that there's a lot of like last minute things, loose ends that need to be tied up, whether in work or finance, or if you've been going through like a big transition in life, uh, whether it's in relationship or maybe you've left a job or you're moving something along those lines, even if you've made that choice to do so, um, there's still some difficult loose ends that need to be dealt with in this upcoming week. Um, for some of you, this conversation will revolve around having an equal give and take within a specific partnership. We have the Six of Pentacles upright here, coupled by the Three of Pentacles upright. Um, some people may feel like maybe you've been giving more to a specific connection or to a project or within a workplace, um, and you would like some help. You would like another person to kind of pick up the slack, meet you where you are at, meet you halfway. Now, not all relationships are always an equal 50 50 but i think the main message here is um you've been taking on a lot more than you would care to be taking on and if you find that that's the position that you are in that you have been doing most of the work i strongly encourage you to get curious about why you've chosen that route because it is actually a lot easier to complain and get upset when people uh, don't put up their end of the bargain or don't put up their share of the work. But the reality is, if you've always been the type of person to keep on taking more than you can chew without complaining, without requesting for help, without being vulnerable about maybe needing a break, maybe then turn that curiosity back to yourself and really ask yourself why maybe you have some uncomfortable feelings um, and being vulnerable about what you need. Um, and this is perfect because we just talked about the full moon in Leo. This is going to bring us 
into a position of feeling more confident and empowered to share what's really there in our hearts, to really speak up and advocate for ourselves and let other people in our lives know what we need to feel supported. Because as much as it can be upsetting if you feel like you're always the one who is keeping everything together, at the end of the day, we need to be able to teach people what we need. And the only way to do that is to speak up. Like we can't expect everyone to be a mind reader. At the bottom of the deck here, we have the Four of Wands in reverse. We also have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Two of Wands upright. Ooh, we also have the Four of Pentacles upright. Wow, big energy at the bottom of the deck that's um, guiding this overall reading for our collective. Um, we really are ready to get down to business. I think a lot of us have had some financial hardships, instability within work, family, um, within our home lives, maybe even within our relationships relationship dynamics at home and it just hasn't been fun anymore people are not seeing eye to eye we're not all moving in the same direction um, this whole full moon is going to give us all an opportunity to come together in unity once again um, people are ready to move forward two of wands upright we want that new energy a lot of what's keeping us stuck is represented by this wand here sitting in the back it's old shit it doesn't serve us anymore. These are old arguments. They're old belief systems. Um, there's also something to be said about keeping things to yourself. So if you're working on big projects, maybe you don't feel like it's the right time to share fully what's going on. Um, and I can understand that. Uh, clearly, I've just done it to you guys <laughs> with my little teaser of an online store that's coming up soon. Um, but I encourage you all to really think if this isn't something, if keeping something to yourself will not benefit you and your situation as a whole, maybe it's best to start thinking about what you can actually share in order to create harmony and unity within your, your home life, within your work life, within your financial sectors. Um, Sometimes we really need to teach people how we want to be treated, what we expect. Uh, we need to model those types of behaviors because we all are mirrors for one another and we can't expect the people in our lives, those that we interact with, to know exactly what we need and how we accept that type of support. Let's go ahead and take a look at this 10 of wands in reverse. Clarifying this 10 of wands. Yep, still trying to figure out what to do next. We have the Two of Pentacles upright, the Ace of Wands upright, and the Three of Pentacles upright. Maybe some of us have felt a little bit left out um, in some sort of group setting or group dynamics. Some people might resonate with this as like a black sheep type thing within a family structure. Maybe it feels like you're kind of always on the outside looking in, not always included. You might even be feeling this way with your friends. Um, in a love relationship, you might feel like your partner has like a whole set of friends that you're never really introduced to or uh, that you're not involved in or that they don't speak about you um, and share about you to other people. That's a little bit hurtful here and I really am getting that here. Uh, for some of you, you might be juggling more than one um, project, uh, maybe a nine to five job and a project. You might be dating multiple people. You might be trying to find a balance between work life and home life, um, hard work and play. There's just a lot going on here about trying to juggle multiple things happening while simultaneously wanting to take um, a passionate, decisive step forward in some sort of action. So I think something needs to be cleared out here because you can't keep on juggling. You can't keep on juggling and there's some hurt feelings that are operating in the background. I think that stuff needs to be addressed this week before you feel confident enough to take some action forward. Remember, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse here, so not quite ready to move forward just yet, although you do want to take that action. Um, I would say step one is addressing the issue at hand um, first. Let's take a look at death in reverse. Death in reverse is clarified by, oh, we have the four of pentacles upright again. We got this at the bottom of the deck. So someone keeping something to themselves. We have here the king of pentacles upright. And we also have here the seven of pentacles upright. 
Is the juice worth the squeeze? You've been working really hard at something behind the scenes. I know I resonate with this energy because a lot of people don't know how hard I've been working behind the scenes to get this online store up and running. And trust me when I tell you it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot harder than I personally anticipated. And I think the collective can agree with me here that all of us have something that we are up to that maybe we have not um, shared so openly about just yet, whether this is a passion project project. Um, I know I have some friends who have Kickstarter projects going on for their tarot cards. Um, people who have side businesses that are about to expand. Um, relationship moves that you haven't been open about yet. Um, people who are physically moving into new homes, looking for new homes to settle into. Um, it could be that there's so much going on behind the scenes and instead of um, instead of like rushing the situation, we're really being called to ask, is all the effort that we're putting into these things really worth all of the work and effort we've taken? Cause we're tired. We've been working damn hard to get these things manifested. So it's time, it's time to take that break, take a step back and reevaluate how far you've come. And if you feel like the juice has been worth the squeeze, that the fruits of your labor, you're really starting to see it. Um, you're starting to see your dreams manifest into reality. Then we have the 10 of pentacles here, earth sign energy, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, also this feeling of stability. Also this idea that it may be slow moving, this transformation may be a little bit slower. It might be um, over a long period of time, but maybe what we're realizing is yes, this was actually worth all of the effort I put into it. For other people, it might be the opposite. We may actually realize, no, I, I've worked for a long time on this thing and I'm still just not seeing what um, I hoped the outcome would be. And in that case, that's where this uh, death card in reverse happened. So what needs to change then? What needs to change then? If it really feels like all of your effort wasn't worth it, what needs to change? Maybe you just need to pivot. And I think that's what the Six of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles Upright are going to show us. Let's clarify here the Six of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles Upright. Mm. Competition, Five of Wands Upright. Maybe we are in like self-sabotage mode. You know, we all have that inner voice inside our spirits that make us doubt our um, abilities, that make us doubt these goals, these dreams we may have for ourselves. For some of you, if you're looking to buy a, a house, maybe this is a lot of competition, bidding wars that are happening, that are preventing you from moving into this beautiful new space. For others, it's just um, uh, oversaturation in the market. If you are a business owner or an entrepreneur, you might feel like your business ideas are not different or unique enough to really set you apart from other people. So there's this false idea of competition here when the truth of the matter is world upright whatever is meant for you will always be meant for you it is impossible to have a door closed when that door was always meant for only you and just you we all have a unique purpose in this time and in this space and so remember that ace of swords upright remember that Take decisive action forward because you are needed here. Whatever it is that you've been working on, your contribution to the collective is absolutely necessary. Yes, you can sit with us. In fact, there's more than enough room here for everybody to contribute to the overall growth of our collective. This idea of competition, it's all in your head. It, like it really even doesn't exist. It might feel that way in numbers, but let's be honest here. These numbers are all just an illusion. <laughs> We're all here serving a more divine purpose. And so it's time to speak up, advocate for yourself um, and show everyone what you have. Show everyone what you have. Because whatever your ideas are, you have so much potential to really be of such contribution to others, but you really have to get out of your own way. And maybe that's going to mean asking for some help. Instead of being in competition with one another, maybe collaborate instead. Instead of being jealous that other people have certain things that you don't within their business, maybe they even have more of a following than you do because you're just starting out. Instead of being jealous, 
Become their friend. Ask questions. Hey, how did you do X, Y, Z? It's time to collaborate and learn from one another. Um, and that's actually going to help bring unity to the collective rather than forcing this very hard um, conflict energy that promotes uh, division. We have enough division in the world as it is. All right, let's go ahead and pull some final advice using the Keepers of the Light Oracle. I'm going to pull also um from the super attractor deck just because i'm really feeling like we need other energy aside from this deck i use this in every reading but i still love this deck <laughs> okay give us a card please lady venus downloads and understanding truth is being revealed deep insights are coming from heaven and the astral realm pay attention to the signs and synchronicities everyone truths are being revealed i'm gonna go ahead and use another deck super attractor show us any final messages please this is a deck by gabrielle bernstein Appreciation dissolves all blocks to the presence of my super attractor power. I love this. We all have the ability to attract opportunities and people who will best serve our highest good. I also have here, I release time and let the universe show me what to do. Time is an illusion. It is an illusion. And again, like I said, whatever is meant for you will always be for you. So have faith in your dreams, have faith in your aspirations. There is no real competition. It's already yours. Um, you just have to keep walking the walk and talking the talk and pivoting where necessary in order to keep opening up space for you to accomplish everything that was meant for you in this time. I hope this resonated with you and I will catch you all in the next reading. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye.